What's up guys, welcome to Daily Grey. I've got a half day session in this morning. Um, well, late morning. And then um, out with my dogs later this afternoon. Bits and bats, bits and bats. Um, I'm gonna get mine out for a little bit before this session. And then I can get them out after the session as well. Cause he's not coming till half 10, so we've got ages. Um, yeah, should be a good one. I like half day sessions. And I like them because I can get so much more work done with people. You know, people come for a one to one, an hour, and it's like, fuck. You know, we've got, we've got loads. Sorry, I've just seen a kid run towards my garden. I would appreciate it if he didn't. <laughs> I have two dogs out. Um, by the time they've got here and we've discussed things and I've taught them a little bit, they're going again. Half days and full days are just miles better for it. So I prefer them. So, we'll go get on with this. Also, I just remembered, I didn't film anything yesterday because I was housebound with Lily. Um, Misha had the car and the car seat. Come on, Jack. So we couldn't go anywhere or do anything. I was literally stuck inside all day. Um, so that's why there was no vlog yesterday. However, there will be an extended vlog coming on Monday because it's Laroque Moor competition this weekend, isn't it? Last year's. Hopefully I'll bring on some more this year. We'll see. we'll see. Right, so we're heading to the field. Bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. It's this road. This road is really bad for this. And again, now I think we're about past it. Oh no, we're not past it. We're not past it. Been saying it for a long time. I need one of them uh, gyro phone things. But I, I can't find a phone holder version of it. I can find a handheld thing, you know, that you can walk around with and it's not bumpy. But I can't find a, a car one. So we're going to the field with Dan. Dan has a Doberman puppy that he wants to compete in IPO with. It's very well bred, it's nicely driven. It's a lovely dog. Well, it has the potential to be a very nice dog. So we're going up there, gonna work on some fundamental basics. Um, he wants to nail recall. He wants to understand the foundations a bit further. Got my two with me, of course, because we don't go anywhere without the dogs. That's the wrong gear, isn't it? Um, yeah, so we're just, just gonna go over the foundations, the basics, the, the bits and bats that he, that he needs to get going. Because without them, he's gonna struggle to progress quickly. And with a young puppy, speed is often the essence. Speed is of the essence, is that the word? Um, it's just important that he gets these foundations right and the fundamentals right. He's just been letting the dog be the dog for five months. So for me, with a sport dog especially, it's time to fucking get going now. Like, let's get these fundamentals in place. Start getting the work in. And obviously, it, the bottom line is it boils down to his decision when he wants to really start putting the work in, you know, and, and training the proper obedience. Some people like to do it early, some people like to do it later. There's no right or wrong. Everybody has an opinion and everybody's opinion is different. And that's what often what baffles people, you know, when they're, when they're new into the game, when they're new into the sport or into dogs in general, they struggle a lot because they're like, oh, this guy's doing one thing and that guy's doing something that completely contradicts it. And that's fine, guys, there's more than one road leads to Rome. It's not, there's not only one way. It's like the whole five and five is 10, but so is six and four. Um, there's not a right way. There's a right way, you know, for certain people. Some trainers want it to be X, X way. And some trainers aren't bothered how you do it. I'm one of them trainers. I don't give a fuck how you train something. If it's working for you, keep doing it. My ego is not important enough to me than my results are. Results will always trump ego for me. And there are other trainers that that, that is very different, you know. What they say is right, and only what they say is right. It's just very nearly gone through a red light following me then. Um, naughty. But yeah, more, more than one road leads to Rome. And it always will. There's never going to be one way to train something. There are foolproof ways of training things. Like, you will train every dog ever with a lure to sit. There's no doubt, that's foolproof. Um, if you can, bring me the dog, I'll show you if you can. But that's not the only way to train a sit. There are 50 bazillion other ways. So do do you. Do you, but base 
base your judgment on your results, not on how right you think you are. 20 years experience. Yeah, and your dog still can't walk to fucking heel. Come on, bro. You know, lose the fucking ego. Leave it at home. There's a, there's a bit of a saying around the... Especially the training dog world. You know, people are really trained. Leave your ego at the gate. Meaning the gate to the field. Don't take it onto the field. There's no fucking place for it. No place for ego. <sighs> so maybe you need an ego death. The spiritual world would call it an ego death. Um, and how do you let go of it? Well, it's time. Time and understanding of why you have it. You know, why, why is it more important for you to... I nearly did it again to him. Amber light, I was going to go through it. Why is it more important to you to be right than it is for your results? Um, for me, it's just not. So, I'm going to stop waffling. We're almost at the field. We'll get some training. I'll try and get a couple of time lapses in or something. I'm not going to film it. Um, I might film it. I don't know. All done, all done, finished at the field. Ooh. There we go. Um, dog did really well. Luna's a nice dog, you don't see many nice dogmans around, especially not with any sort of work ethic. Um, he wants to put her into IPO. So we've started introducing the basics, where he needs to go next, what work he can do at home on his own, um, tracking basics, obedience basics, needed to sort out a lead walk in for normal life, not a problem. Just easy stuff. Nothing really difficult today. But the dog's young. The dog's five months old. Pardon me. Can't expect miracles from a five-month-old dog. She just needs to start understanding the game, understanding markers. Um, he had to understand his timing and things like that. It was more of a developmental session than than any groundbreaking work. Um, and I enjoy them. I enjoy them a lot because people really get the chance to learn. And by learning, they can then go away and work on their own rather than just saying, you're a dog trainer, can you fix this? Um, I'm thinking about scrapping my one-to-one -one sessions completely and only doing half days and full days because the calibre of people that come to them, for the most part, are so much better. So we'll see. Um, my dogs have been worked. I didn't film it, obviously. I just got that little time lapse. We were busy. We got chatting. We've been out... Got here at 10. Five, six hours. Um... So, back home, might remind on the treadmill later, but back now, we'll maybe have a dog training chat when I get back. Pets at home done. Don't know if you can see it, just out there somewhere. You can just see the sign up here. We're there now. Um, back to the office. Back to work. Back to it. So in, make that money so in, booty bouncing, don't come on, come on, eat, rose horns, Lamborghini, blue Medina, always beaming, rag top, chrome pipes, no lights. Hold on. Dickhead's in his cage with the door open. Dickhead. Hey, buddy. Jack. Jackson. <whistles> Jackie. Oh, I'll go. All right, you get that. He wants dinner. That's why he's waiting. All right, you stay in there. Police is still in the van. And we're about done for the day. Six o'clock. Long one, Jackie. Long one. Right, I'm going to go and get police out the van. Wrap this vlog up. Question of the day. Question of the day. What is your favourite breed of dog? That's a good one, isn't it? What's your favourite breed of dog and why? Also, if you're enjoying these videos, please, please, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video around. It really, really helps me out, like, more than you think it does. So please do that, and I'll catch you all tomorrow.